Hi everyone, this is Dylan from Dylan's Reptile Time. Hope you're all doing okay. Uh, so in this video, we're gonna have a look at a really gorgeous looking snake from Southeast Europe called the Leopard Snake. Now I've been a fan of these snakes for a long time now. When I was a, a kid, quite a while ago, uh, my favorite book was this, Snakes of the World by Chris Matterson. And there was one on the front cover. How cool is that? And when we used to go on holiday to, to Greece, um, like everyone did uh, before they go on holiday to Europe, you check the Reptiles and Amphibians of Europe book. Uh, see what you might find out there. And we used to think, oh, how brilliant would it be to find one of these, one of these leopard snakes. They look amazing. Uh, now we've been to Greece a few times. Uh, it's full of amazing reptiles and amphibians. We, we, caught, uh, we, we found a lot of um, whip snakes and uh, Montpellier snakes, Esculapian snakes, but we never did find a leopard snake, unfortunately. Ooh. But now, like 30 years later, I'm actually looking after some. Um, now, 30 years ago, there was probably only a couple of people actually keeping leopard snakes, let alone breeding them. But now um, there's more people keeping them. They can they breed them. They know how to look after them better. Uh, so they're a bit more readily available. They're still not as common as some species, but you can you can still get them if, if you want to look after them. Uh, we're hoping to breed ours uh, next year, which will be good. So let's have a look at the leopard snake, shall we? Right, so this is the leopard snake. So it's arguably the most beautiful snake in Europe. So some people might disagree, but you can't deny uh, they look stunning with those orange blotches with a black outline on the silvery gray black ground. They look really nice. And they're obviously called uh, leopard um, snakes because the blotches look like the spots on leopards, kind of. And uh, Europe is home to some uh, amazing reptiles and some really nice uh, snake species. So you've got like whip snakes, water, types of water snake, worm snakes, uh, some really nice vipers there. Um, leopard snakes are part of a, a group of snakes called rat snakes. And they're very closely related to a couple of other um, European rat snakes. Um, you've got the ladder snake and the Esculapian snake as well, as well as a couple of others. Now in the wild, these, uh, these are found in Southeast Europe. So places like Croatia, Greece, Bulgaria, Albania, uh, parts of Turkey, and parts of Ukraine as well. And they're found in a few different habitats, mainly like Mediterranean scrub uh, kind of habitat. You can also find them around farmland, like rural gardens, like stone walls as well. Now to the untrained eye, they do look a bit like corn snakes with these orange saddles with the black outline. Uh, and when they first became available in America, especially, a lot of people called them the European corn snake. But they are obviously different types of snake, different species. Uh, the the uh, leopard snake can get up to about, potentially up to one meter in length. They're a lot more slender. Uh, they can be a bit skittish, a bit nervous. And they can strike occasionally, but um, as you can see, once they're out, they're quite chilled out there. And they, in the wild, they eat a variety of prey, uh, mainly um, small rodents, but they also eat lizards and birds as well. Now, in captivity, they can be a little bit fussy feeders, um, but these ones do readily feed on mice, uh, like small mice. And they're constrictors as well. So. Constrictors don't have to be big pythons and boas. Quite a lot of snake species are constrictors. So they, they'd uh, catch their prey, wrap their body around the animal really tightly, squeeze all the air out until the animal can't breathe and then they'll, they'll swallow it whole. So rat snakes are, are constrictors. Now they are quite an arboreal type of snake, which means they do like to climb a fair bit. Uh, now in the wild, they would climb up branches to reach uh, birds' nests, for example, where they'd eat the baby chicks. They have been known to eat small birds' eggs as well. Now, in our leopard snake enclosures, we have branches in there, and they do enjoy climbing up those branches and having a good explore around. And you'll often find, if you are keeping snakes, a lot of snakes, uh, if you put branches inside their enclosure or a ledge, they will climb, investigate, have a good explore around uh, on those branches, have a good climb about. And it's really good enhancement for the snake as well. Now we keep our snakes, our leopard snakes, in indoor enclosures with the appropriate lighting and heating. Uh, but with them being European snakes, they would do fairly well in uh, outdoor enclosures uh, here in the UK, like in a greenhouse. Not only would they get the benefit of the uh, sun's rays, 
uh, through them, but they would also have more room to roam around um, and they would also look pretty stunning basking out on a sunny day. Imagine that. Pretty good sight to see. Now, if, uh, if keeping reptiles and amphibians in outdoor enclosures is something you want to look into, then there's a company called Celtic Reptiles and Amphibians. They're like the gurus of uh, keeping European reptiles and amphibians in outdoor enclosures. So they even show you how to build the enclosure and how to look after your reptiles uh, really well outdoors. So check those guys out on Facebook and YouTube as well. Now let's have a closer look at these beautiful snakes having a good roam around outside, shall we? So here we can see a close-up of their face with those gorgeous orange eyes that they have. They've got a line as well, dark line across uh, from one eye to the other on the top of their head. And they've also got a, this dark diagonal line uh, from the corner of their eyes as well. And we can see it moving around. They can be quite quick, as you can see. There we go. And the leopard snake has two naturally occurring uh, pattern variations. So there's the spotted form that we've just seen. And there's this one, there's a striped form. And they're still exactly the same species as snake, but their pattern is uh, different. And you'll find little populations of either the spotted uh, variety or the striped variety living in the wild. And I think the island of Mylos in Greece, that's purely got the uh, the striped form living there. And like all rat snakes, they're egg layers. So the female will lay about five eggs. Right, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, so that was the leopard snake from Southeast Europe. I think you'd all agree a very gorgeous looking snake at that. Right, so I'll pop him back and we'll be back uh, some other time with another video for you. All right, take care. Bye.